Hi, my name is Robert Dean Steele. I've been doing scriptures to revive you. We'll start off here with Romans chapter 15, verses 5 to 7. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another and accord with Christ Jesus, that you may together with one voice glorify God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. Then we have Hebrews chapter 13, 20 and 21. Now, may the God of priests, who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with every good and perfect thing to do his will, working in us that is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom may glory forever and ever. Amen. Jeremiah 31, 3 to 4 says, And I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I've continued my faithfulness to you, and I will build you, and you shall be built. Then, of course, there's Isaiah 43 uh, to 5. A voice is crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley will be Lift it up, and every mountain shall be made low, and the uneven ground will become level, and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has declared it. Colossians chapter 4, 2-4. to four, Continually, steadfast in prayer, being watchful with thanksgiving, all the same time, pray for us, that God may open to us for a door to declare the mystery of Christ on account which I am currently in prison, that I may make it clear which is how I ought to speak. Then Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 11 and 12 says, To this end, I always pray for you, that our God would make you worthy of his calling and may fulfill every resolve for good and every good work by faith by his power, so that the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified among you and you in him, according to the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Habakkuk 3, 2 says, O oh Lord, I have heard a report about you, and of your work, O oh Lord, do I fear. In the midst of the years, revive it, and in the midst of the years, make it known. In wrath, remember mercy. And the last one we have today is found in Revelation chapter 7, verses 9 to 11. And after I looked this, and behold a great multitude that no one could number from every nation, of all tribes, people, and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out to the Lord, and with a great voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb and to all the angels were standing around the throne and the elders and the four living creatures and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Some scriptures to revive and encourage you.